Hello there, I'm Artistic Gamer 7 and I'm back with some more Tales of Berseria. I'm literally right where I left off. Um, so, uh, there's probably a story about to start. If you haven't seen the previous episode, there is a link down below so you can catch up to where we're at now. Just to let you know. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us, and we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> He's more obedient and very... sort of absent-minded compared to the series. Like, it's creepy. We'll see. I'm pretty sure she instinctively grabbed him because... Oh, they all have stars on them. Because he looks quite a bit, like, loffy. But, oh well. Hey. It happens! Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. Really? Magilu? Really? Hi. You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... There's no use in thinking about it. There's no turning back at this point. Hmm, I'm pretty good at cutting stuff, but trying things to get- tying things together is hard for me. <laughs> Great! Things are gonna come undone. Oh, now I can talk to him, but I'm gonna re-talk to her again real quick. I do look forward to putting episode 3 Magilu in the Tears of the Demon Lord. Oh, really? Really? Velvet! How's our heading? Oh, this is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh. Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Never Not got a bad. Name. Your real name. Surely you have one. You wanna hold it? That's an order. I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? Uh, right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. 
You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> oh boy. Cannon fire astern! Pirates! That flag. It's got to be High Fleet's pirate crew. They've got a feed on us, folks! And in case you haven't noticed, we aren't really equipped for sea combat! how we start the episodes. Oh yeah, so of course in the last episode, you know, we totally blew up a whole entire town. So, you know, hey! Huh. Well, look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and paper. No pendulum that I can see. Confused. Real confused. Oh, now we have. I wish he had a name other than number two. I don't like calling him number two. I mean, he can get his mind of his own. I mean, the series is the same thing, so. He definitely can. He's just gotta learn how to do something. But he's fighting with him now, so, you know, that's all that matters. She doesn't fight. You passed the test. Join us. What? Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress... If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. to refuse your business is your business and ours is ours there's nothing more to say but first mate y you can't go alone we'll all come with you you'd only get in the way stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the von Eltia. I like how he's like the first mate not the captain but he seems to be ordering them around <laughs> yeah, that's telling me about his arts and stuff. Yep. You do nothing! 
Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress, even a battleship Oops. couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak. But it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, there's another star back here. You. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. Then that's what makes a pirate, huh? The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough. If forward lies destruction and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option. And yet you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Huh. We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. Is that thing around his neck supposed to be almost like a collar? I don't like it. I don't like it. Take it off of him. <laughs> ah, there's now an exclamation mark. Dang it. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Ivory's pirates. Ivory is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles that at dude? his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Ifrit is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His I have a feeling it's not here. Fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the that. Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Ifrit and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. <laughs> the fear, the part that comes with the fear and all that stuff, I really don't think it's that dude that is doing all that. They, they say it's him. But I don't think it's him. He doesn't look like he's got that cut out. Oh, hey. Cut it, like, that in him. And such. Going to save. Gonna see what's this way first. Spiders. Spider creatures. Great. Just what I wanted. Spider creature. Great. Another spider creature. Turned around way too easy. I assume that dude is up in the cave. So we'll go right into it. And that's why there's a star there. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> I could be right. I love like you'll be rushed on my door. Oh, 
die, Sergeant Die. Apparently the Scorpions are a little bit easier than the Spiders, though. Stop it! <laughs> you won't get any pity or compassion from me. Alright, that was enough fighting for me in this game for now. <laughs> But if we are going to catch up to him, he's walking really slow and we're, or we're running really fast, or a little mixture of the two. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms, but there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me, the Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails. I'll flip it to heads on my own. Hey. Hey. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Can we give him a name? I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. Hello, I You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <laughs> <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. But when I threw it towards him, it actually landed on heads. So, hey, things might have changed. I'm special. <laughs> So is he with me right now? Is he gonna fight with me? Let's see. First, let's collect this. Now let's see. <laughs> yes, he is with me! More people, the better! I have a feeling he won't stay with me. Or maybe he will. You know, the fact that he's at least a character that can fight with me. Maybe, maybe he will. Ow! Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone wants to see him actually use the sword on his back. Where did I just come from? I came from there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I get I lost. Don't waste my time. I will say though, his health is sort of like mine. It goes down pretty fast. <laughs> but it's all good. Wait, can number heal two heal? Because it's so that's great. He's totally a fool. I'm so glad you're here, number two. I believe you have a name, though. 
Souls, so I can free the cats. What's in here? Is it a cat's box? No. <laughs> There's a treasure box, though. I can't apparently move. Amber paper. Amber paper? What? What is that? What is that? Ah. vines they're too tangled to cut through i'm carrying some flint just burn through it do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire normally no but we're also demons and malachim get what i'm saying yeah we are not exactly normal ourselves no nope. Not a normal bunch at all. It's okay. It's fine. It's better. Ah. Better that way. Oh, I ran quickly. into one. Oh, okay. There's a lot of creatures. I'm. 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 Stop making us dizzy! Alright, that's it. Why can't I do it? Okay. Oh my. Why are you running for me? <laughs> if you want to live, get out of my way. Got it. Okay, so which way do I need to go? This way? Or that way? But this divides into two more paths. What? Dang it! Let's see what this one does. Because I don't want to miss anything. Don't want to miss anything. This one only ha oh. Hmm. Don't think we can get over the- Oh, there's a cat's box! Oh, wait. The other way probably goes- connects to that, actually. Probably does. Probably does. Hello! Goodbye! Burn. Oh, wow. Woo! There's one. 
I'm hiding. Silly cat spirits. Can't hide from me. So I feel like the one on the left actually goes back to that one spot. Which heads out. I might not get a choice. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. Right! What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. <laughs> Same thing then. Not even remotely. What are you doing? Uh. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. you right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant. Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. She sees him as her Let little brother. Let me guess, brother. kid. You were bound by an exorcist? thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malachim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. Ah. My controller vibrated, I didn't expect that. Listen, kid, if you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in trouble? You said exorcists bind Malachim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malachim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient oh. tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons. But Malachim aren't mere objects. Malachim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Arturius is concerned, Malachim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. But anyway! The other way, I think, leads towards the exit. So I'm gonna go this way to explore first. I could be wrong. Oh, no. Of course, this way looks like it's blocked off, maybe. Okay, so I may not to go far. We'll see. There's a chest. Why are the seeds falling from the, the top of the cave? Oh, I need those. That makes no sense. The seeds should be popping out of the ground. Yeah, I can't go that way. Alright. <laughs> So we'll go back the other way, that's fine. That's cool. Alright. Mine. Mine. Mine! There's the cat's box. I'm gonna open it. Yes. Hello! <coughs> so up this way we go. Which there's an exclamation mark there. I'm stuck on... I guess the rock, but the rock wasn't really sticking out that much.
bird. Alright. Save real quick. Looks like you wanna die. I got distracted by the person with I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Anyway, I'm gonna save real quickly. <laughs> Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zor. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me, but for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha. And that old white turtle shop. We believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, sis. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. Uh, much obliged. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Ooh. Much would like one. Much would. Oh. For some reason, I forget it. Don't worry about it. I have no money left. <laughs> I'll sell you some stuff. Um. I don't know if I need any of this stuff. I'm just gonna sell all these. I don't know of any reason why I would need these. So I can get some money back. Alright. Bye. <laughs> it's your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. He it's speaks. a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> so... Is a Reaper... What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakine, so I was number two. 
That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? Where am I going? Where's this go? That looks like that goes out. Where does this go? Does this, this go deeper in the cave or is this? Oh, this is the other side of this. Yay. Warp spot. I don't know. I was just making sure it worked. All right. Mine. I wonder what he'll, his name will end up being. Because he's got to get a name at some point. He just has to. I can't call him number two. Forever. Can't do it. Doesn't feel right. It's off of the ceiling already. It's a weird thing. I guess I should probably battle some more. Level up and all that stuff. Stop running away from me! Ow. Dizzy. Dizzy. As I just said, I'll probably use some healing, but thank you! Over here! A treasure chest! My treasure chest! Yay! I'm glad I bought some life bottles. Really needed those. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. And I used a lot of mine because I was being an idiot. And I will probably proceed to be an idiot and lose more. <laughs> because of being an idiot. <laughs> Whoa! They've fallen from the sky everywhere. Oh, hi. Oh, I was really wondering. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martell the Goddess, and Daos, the Demon King. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765, The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin Ragnarok was dug up from some ancient ruins in another, another land. Game, I feel like. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow. That's a rather rare find, then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <laughs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind, then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh. I'm sorry for prying. Yeah, I want to know what exactly a reaper is. Because they keep calling, like, they were saying that like, he was like a mallet at first. But, he, they're calling him a reaper, so. I want to know what specifically made him a reaper, and is a reaper a demon or a mallet or neither? You're an actual wolf. I'll cut down anyone 
in my way. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Get down at Hello? Hello? <laughs> thing popped up. So I thought it popped up. How do I get down? the button over here all over the place. That sounded creepy. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. Uh, a direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the this fortress's is an construction. Of characters. We'll check that. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's technically a Malachian because he was saying they treat us and all that stuff. But it seemed to why are they calling him Reaper? I'm confused. I still want to know. I'm uh... Why am I going this way? <laughs> it's starting to get late. My brain's starting to go downhill. This is probably a bad time to be playing this game. This is fine. Cool. Keep going. Keep playing. Get all the capsules. What? What? Was there something? No, there was nothing back there. I'm also getting hungry. Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Onward! Stop! Those guards are- Careful! They're not what they see! I can still take them. They've transformed into demons! What kind of curse is this, Isaac? Plus, they both realized it before we even got close you to You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? <laughs> She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. Mine now. What is all this? Why? Okay, the wolves are fast. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? 
chest. This is all I want. Actually, I want these two. Wait, what did I do? That said something different. Can only carry 50. Let's fight one of these things because we haven't fought one of these things yet. Whatever this don't thing waste is, my time. I don't know. to in this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tales of Berseria and are looking forward to the next one. I have a link in the description below so that it would be easy to find the next one when it comes out if it isn't already out if you just have stumbled across this video as well as catch up on past ones. I'll also have information to my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down there. You can leave me some tips and suggestions with no spoilers in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye bye.